is against the law to sell drugs. And I did sell it. But I didn't sell the drugs to, for myself. If I should sell drugs for myself, I should be a millionaire now. A few years back, every Sunday I come here and give the people money. The pe people is standing on Sundays. If, if I drive up here, everybody's come and stand here because they know and give them some money. That's why if I go, go away, I'm sure the people are going to miss me. In 1996, Manko Rashad was set alight and murdered by a group of vigilantes. His murder was horrifying and visceral. And for the next couple of days, those images were all over South African newspapers and South African TV. I was 12 years old and instantly transported from a place of ignorant childhood bliss to the very simple fact that my family were gangsters. They were criminals. And my uncle's very public death had pushed this to the forefront of everyone's mind. The next few years would play out like the transgressive novels I write and love to read, but it was a very claustrophobic type of fiction. During that time, our own family home was petrol bombed and my father was sentenced to 25 years in prison. My mother kept things together for myself, my brother and my sister. But the question has always bothered me. I've always wondered, how did my family become the way they were, or perhaps are? This was a question that was always on my mind, and this is why I am making this film. Also, hopefully, to learn something, to save someone else from that pain. This is the story of my family. This is the story of the hard livings.